What's up everyone? It's Henry and check out this background. I promise you it's not a special effect, it's the real deal. Got all these books because gotta contribute to the book smart. The purpose of this video is to talk about one thing. I'm going back to school. Say what? So to be honest, never really thought about going back to school for a master's degree, but it's happening. So I wanna make this video because I guess going back to school for a master's degree is a little bit intimidating, I have to say. And for me, I was a little discouraged at first because first, many programs require you to take the GRE. You gotta study again just to even apply. So that was a big no-no for me. The other one was, you know, after you finish getting your undergraduate degree, you feel like you've got enough school. All right, like you're ready to work which is how I felt. So I've been working for about three years now. Got a good amount of work experience in, but now I feel like I'm ready to take it to the next level, take it to the next step, or even perhaps transition to a new field. But for the most part, going back to school means spending more money. And so definitely it is a investment that I'd have to consider um, because, you know, spending a lot of money for the potential of making more money. So, I guess considering all these factors, the master program that I will be uh, continuing my education with is called the Human Center Design and Engineering, HCDE for short, at the University of Washington, Seattle. Oh, by the way... I'm recording this video on Sunny's birthday. Today is Sunny's birthday. Hi. So I think for many people, including myself, I always wanted to watch a video. I always wanted to know, is going back to school for a master's degree program worth it? And I think I've, I've never really kind of stumbled upon that video. So I guess why not make one on my own so I can in the future, hopefully, help others navigate the same issue that I had in the past. So the master program that I'm pursuing, like I said, is the HCDE MS program. It's a evening program, full-time evening program at the on-campus, but now we're in Corona time, so it might be online. Uh, but nonetheless, the, the schedule for classes is anywhere between 6 p.m. to I believe 9.30 p.m. So it's gonna be a late one. I chose to continue my education with this program specifically um, because of three reasons. I was four fingers, but I said three. For three reasons. <laughs> First one, I didn't have to take the GRE. I didn't have to take the big boy SAT or ACT. None of that was required for admissions. So that was a huge plus for me. Another academic reason was because this field in particular sort of spans across many industries, including tech industry, the nonprofit, potentially even the government work field. So it's very diverse in terms of where a future career can go. So I really like that idea. Um, another academic reason is because, you know, it's really tech focused. Uh, but my undergraduate degree was nowhere even close to being tech related. I, I got my undergraduate degree in architectural studies. So it was very like my, my educational background was focused on like bricks and mortar. Bricks and mortar, writing a lot of history essays and analyzing the facade of architecture. So two, you know, it's, that's comparing like apples to oranges in a way. But nonetheless, with all those academic reasons, I was still encouraged to apply for this program and ultimately was accepted, which is a super plus for those who feel discouraged because their undergraduate degree might not be in relation to master program, master program that they want to apply to. So to conclude, the, the big benefit of this master deg degree program is it's generous flexibility and openness and accepting people to find ways on how to further their career path. 
So I really like that. The second point I want to bring up is, well, what's the potential career growth for this master's degree program after graduating? So this particular field, like I said, is very diverse in allowing graduates or alumni to spread their wings and which field they want to you know, end up in, whether it's the tech field, working in the nonprofit or government, you name it. I've actually gotten in touch with many graduates of this program on LinkedIn, um, and many of them work in the big tech industry companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Google, and they all enjoy what they like to do. And basically, the end product, the final goal of this program for me is to be a UX designer, UI designer, uh, uh, basically being in a position where I'm help, where I'm able to identify a problem and propose a solution. So that's something I really want to do in the future, and that's my end goal of going into the program, grinding, and coming out with the degree. Ching. You don't. You want to go back to school feeling like you got your money's worth. To add on this topic of career growth, I actually have a few friends who are already in this industry as a UX designer or a product manager and talking to them about what it's like to work in this field uh, really motivated me to do the same. In terms of their professional life with their personal life, the two come together in a very smooth way almost like butter coming together so they're really happy and at the same time they're comfortable uh, they feel like they could do things that they want to do and most importantly they're financially stable for for many people that's a very big thing to consider <laughs> before I end this video the purpose of doing this is to help others who are in the same position that I am and I wanted to do this in a way where i not even starting school yet and then while I'm in school and after I'm in school. So I really wanted to bring you along with me on this journey and hopefully uh, while we're on the run, maybe I can help others uh, do the same. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you found this uh, helpful and... Stay tuned, I'll see you in the next one. One more thing before I sign off. I always see the athletes do this when they like decide which, which, what they're going to, so. Yeah, woo, signing out.